boy. Lasagna. We have a hurricane warning. Since what? Hello? Well, it looks pretty nice out, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna try to go to the gym. Hopefully the hurricane doesn't start. Also, hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. It's been a while. I feel like I've been saying that at the beginning of every single one of my videos lately. It's been a while. I know. Um, <laughs> not the U2 from my Apple iTunes. Do y'all remember when that happens? Like, I don't know how many of y'all this happened to, but the band, like, U2, you, the number two, downloaded without our consent, without our permission, a bunch of their songs onto all of our iTunes libraries. That was a crazy time. I talked about this in therapy and I'm actually driving to my new gym. This gym I started going to about a week ago and I really, really like it so far. But I had therapy yesterday and I talked about this with her. It was my first therapy session in like a month because we had to take a lot of sessions off because she was busy and then I was busy and then I went on vacation and it was just, so I had this like full breakdown <laughs> about how I haven't been like filming and uploading on YouTube especially because I've been pretty consistent on like all other platforms, like all other social media platforms. I've been streaming a lot more. I stream four times a week, which by the way, if you guys wanna like follow me on Twitch, I've been MIA on YouTube alone. And I was so sad talking about because YouTube is my favorite platform. It's like the platform that I started on. I miss it a lot, but I feel like when it comes to YouTube, I think it takes the most work to film and to edit for YouTube, but I feel a lot of guilt. Like I, I film these videos and then I edit like 90% of them and then I never ever complete them for whatever reason. I never get around to actually finishing them. So there are like three videos that I filmed over the last few months, which still isn't a lot, right? Cause I used to film and upload weekly, but there are like three videos that I filmed and then I just never finished editing them for whatever freaking reason. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I do that. I started filming and uploading Instagram reels and I started a new TikTok account. If you guys wanna check that out, it's called Anyangshil. I'm gonna put it like on the screen. It has more like vloggy and lifestyle content, but I also post that on Instagram. I have like a gaming TikTok that I post mostly stuff from my Twitch channel and then I have more of a lifestyle TikTok that I started fairly recently. Yeah, I've been posting consistently on there as well and I was having this breakdown to my therapist and something has to be sacrificed. Like you can't do everything as much as I would love I would love to believe that you can you can't do everything it's it's impossible you have to sacrifice something but I tell myself that I am the exception to that rule and I can do everything but in reality I've been neglecting YouTube like that was the thing that I ended up sacrificing which makes me really sad my schedule has been like I stream I edit I film and I try to hang out with friends because I want to be a good friend and I want to spend time with them obviously and I don't know I feel like I I feel like I'm doing so much all the time but I'm still not doing enough and I constantly feel overwhelmed and I feel a little overworked but I'm also like girl you're not even doing that much like you're not even working that much you're not doing a lot and you have no right to complain when everyone else is going through so much I dismiss my feelings I discredit myself a lot and my therapist is one that's like I was telling her my entire schedule and she was looking at me like girl you're doing a lot and I've neglected YouTube even though I really didn't want to but I'm gonna try I don't know what I have to sacrifice because I just feel like I have to sacrifice something even though I don't want to not in Admitting that I need to sacrifice something is self-sabotage. I want to be someone that's able to do everything all the time and I just can't. I feel like I have to do everything all the time and if I don't, then I'm a failure. If I have to sacrifice something to be able to pursue YouTube more, then I feel like a failure. That's what's happening in my mind right now. I'm just venting all of this to you guys because that's just how I've been feeling lately. I just feel really overwhelmed, but I also feel like I'm not doing enough. I don't know, guys. I don't know if anything I'm saying makes any sense. I, I don't know if any of you guys can hear what I'm saying and be like, oh, I totally hear you. I totally relate. But if any of you do, please let me know because I think it'd be great if we could all feel overwhelmed and a little crazy together. I just pulled up to my new gym and we're gonna get a good workout in. I feel pretty sore. I haven't been going to the gym consistently for like since COVID honestly. So I'm really sore after going consistently for the past like week. But we're gonna get a good workout in. Yeah. 
So I just finished up stream. I streamed for around like six and a half to seven-ish hours. Um, it's like almost 9 p.m. now. So I gotta make some dinner. I'm so, so, so hungry. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some pasta. That sounds pretty good. Maybe make some like pesto pasta. I really like eating pesto pasta with vegan chicken nuggets or like vegan chicken tenders or something, but I don't know if I have any. So I'll be really sad if I go to make it because now I'm excited about making pesto pasta, but I don't know if I have the, the means to make pesto pasta. Like I do, I have pesto and I have pasta which will be fine. But I really want to eat it with like some some breaded chicken, you know? It was a good stream today. We spent a lot of time just like hanging out and chatting. So if you guys aren't super into gaming content, that's totally fine. I usually spend like an hour or two just talking to you guys at the beginning of my streams. So if that's something you're more into, I would love to be able to talk to you guys like in real time, you know? Uh, but yeah, let's go make some dinner. So I actually do not have the chicken tenders or chicken nuggets that I wanted for pesto pasta, but I saw these in the freezer. It's um, Gardein plant-based mandarin orange crispy chicken. And maybe add some like rice, some broccoli, something like that. I think that would be pretty good. This is like lazy girl dinner, but well, not like lazy, lazy. You kind of still put effort in. Like this isn't lazy, right? We turned the stove on. If you're turning the stove on, it's not lazy, but you know, like it was pretty easy to put together. Good morning. I'm currently on my way to the gym. 9.41 in the morning. I woke up around six and I'm only getting out of the apartment now because there's a hurricane coming to California. But I think by the time that it hits, it's gonna be a tropical storm. I personally came from Florida where we had a lot of hurricanes, a lot of tropical storms. It was like an every week Thing. So you think like, oh, you're prepared for it, right? I mean, I was prepared for it when I was in Florida because Florida was prepared for it, but like California is not prepared for it. So it's a little nerve wracking. I think we'll be fine. I think the biggest issue is gonna be like flooding and rain. And I'm very lucky and privileged to live in an apartment complex where I'm pretty high up. So I think I will be okay. Still very concerning. So yeah, I don't know. I think I started a later start to the day because I got in this state of sort of paralysis. I, I don't I don't know. I overthink a lot and I think about just like the worst case scenario. We love having anxiety. This video will be coming out like way after all this is happening, like the hurricane, the tropical storm, whatever. If you live in California and you experience anything, I hope you stay safe. I hope you're doing okay. I hope everyone you know is doing okay. It's crazy that there's all these warnings going on and it's such a beautiful day right now. So I got back from the gym, I just took a shower, and now I'm gonna be making some, it's like breakfast, but it's pretty late, it's already almost 1 p.m. But I'm finally gonna be making some food, I'm so hungry. So something I've really been enjoying to make is I take some sesame oil, put that in a pan, and then I'm gonna throw in some shiitake mushrooms. I'm gonna add a block of silken tofu.
And then I'm gonna add some just egg. And then once the egg starts cooking a little bit more, that's when I'm gonna start to add all the seasonings. Hello my loves, I just brushed my teeth after eating dinner and dessert and now I'm going to show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. The headband I'm going to be using is this Tata headband, so, so cute. And then I'm just going to put on these wristbands. These help from any water like trickling down to your elbows. So whenever I do skincare routines for my TikToks and my Instagram reels, I like to do a little bit of ASMR and I tap on all the products but if you guys don't like that, uh, let me know in the comments below, then I won't do it. So first things first is I'm gonna take this Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. And this is something that I use to take my makeup off, but also if I'm not wearing makeup, I still use it because I use it to double cleanse. So I make sure to cleanse my face with this for about a minute or so. And then I'm gonna wash this off and then I'm gonna go in with my gel cleanser for my second cleanse. <laughs> And this is my gel cleanser. I've been using this for quite some time now. I really, really like it. It's this Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. As I'm going through all of these skincare products, I do want to let you guys know that I'm not necessarily trying to promote any of these products. While I think they're great and they make my skin feel really nice, I've always had pretty decent skin throughout my entire life. I've never really struggled with acne before or breakouts. The only time I ever really stru struggle with breakouts is during that time of the month. But aside from that, I don't get many pimples and I've never really struggled with pimples before. So I don't want it to seem like I'm promoting these products and trying to sell you them because a lot of the products that I have are definitely too expensive in my opinion but I like using them because when it comes to skincare I really like to treat myself a lot of the products I got I actually bought on my birthday so it really was to treat myself it was just a birthday gift to me but I'm not saying that you need to use these products in particular you can definitely find cheaper alternatives to the ones that I'm using and then to dry my face I've been using these clean towels they're very gentle on the skin and a lot better than using a regular towel that can hold a lot of bacteria. And then after cleansing, we go in with toner. I've been really enjoying this toner. I really like this brand. It's called I'm From and it's a Korean brand. I like to use the rice toner. I really like the entire rice line from this brand. 
just put some in my hands and then I kind of pat it into my skin. I'll let that soak in for a minute. And then after toner, I'm going to move on to Essence. This is the Essence that I use, also from the Anfam brand. To my knowledge, um, I did look all these up before I purchased them. So they all should be cruelty free. And then once the toner and the essence is all soaked in, I move on to serums. And this is a serum that I really like. It's a serum by Peach and Lily. And I just really like how it feels on my skin. Let that soak in. Next serum that I'm using is this serum from Drunk Elephant. I think Drunk Elephant is pretty overpriced, but I do like how you open their containers. It's kind of fun. But this is the Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This was one of the serums that I bought on my birthday. I don't really think I would repurchase it personally. It feels nice. I just think it's really, really expensive. It does feel nice though, and it does feel very hydrating. Next up is eye cream. This is another Peach and Lily product, and it's their Pure Peach Retinoic Eye Cream. And then we're going to move on to moisturizers. This was another one of my birthday gifts to myself. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I just thought it looked so pretty and so elegant. I love it. It's a really pretty purple color, the cream itself. And it's very thick and very hydrating. That's why I like to use this moisturizer at nighttime. Make sure to take your products on your neck. I love doing my nighttime skincare routine. It's one of my favorite parts of the night, I'm not gonna lie. Especially on days where I'm wearing makeup and I get to take my lashes off. I get to see all the gunk come off. It's just ugh, amazing. And then the very last thing that I do for my nighttime skincare routine is I like to pick a night sleeping mask. So I have a lot of sleeping masks that I can choose from. I think today I'm gonna go with, I got these at Ulta and they're the Sanrio and the Creme Shop collaboration. You just go to sleep in this and you wash it off in the morning. I love looking like a glazed donut when I go to sleep. Oh, I feel so nice. And then the actual, actual last thing <laughs> that I use is I use a lip mask. This one is the Tatcha Kisu lip mask and that is my finished nighttime skincare routine now i can get in bed play some animal crossing and just chill for the rest of the night Hello, hello, it is Sunday and today is supposed to be like the worst day in terms of the storm hitting California right now. Hi, baby. Baby. <laughs> so on Sundays, what I usually do is I like to do a reset day where I clean my entire apartment within the time it takes to wash and dry my sheets for my bed. And then I usually stream. But I'm kind of wondering if I should just cancel stream and focus on cleaning because there are a lot of things that I haven't gotten around to doing. For example, I've been home from Paris for almost two weeks and I still haven't really unpacked. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I just feel like I'm thinking about my day too much and I'm thinking about how stressful it's going to be without even starting my day. I don't know why I do that. Where I get very overwhelmed about all the tasks I need to do that day before I even started doing any of the tasks. Okay, this is the playlist. So if I do this, yes, yes. Hey guys. Hello. So today, okay. Okay. I have never. Yeah, we were on the sixth one. one. Do you want that in the video? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna take a little break from cleaning to make myself some breakfast and I'm gonna have some oatmeal. I'm using this seal cut maple brown sugar instant oatmeal.
apple to oatmeal ratio is a bit much. So maybe I add this much and then I'll just eat the rest of the apple. So yummy. So I just finished stream up. I streamed for quite a few hours. I guess that the, the tropical storm, Hurricane Hillary, but turns into a tropical storm by the time it got to me, wasn't even really a storm. We barely got hit like where I am. So I'm very lucky and very grateful that nothing seemed to have happened. Better safe than sorry though. I was still pretty prepared. God forbid anything did happen, but I'm happy nothing really did. And then there was also like an earthquake by LA. The universe is really like California be gone. But now I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make. I had some like chips and candy while I was streaming, but that's about it. And I'm pretty hungry, but I have no idea, no idea what I'm gonna make. I'm really low on groceries as well. So, I don't know. So I'm trying around a recipe that I found on TikTok. It's this creamy gochujang pasta. It looks really good. So I'm gonna give it a try. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a block of silken tofu to the blender and just add in some cashew milk. The person uses almond milk, but I don't got any of that. So this is basically gonna take place of heavy cream. So I don't wanna add too much oat milk because I want it to be pretty thick. I feel like that should be good. We're gonna add some olive oil and some garlic. Gochujang. Tofu mixture. Oh my, that's a lot. Maybe I need more gochujang. Chili powder, some Italian seasoning, pepper. And crushed red pepper flakes. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna add some Parmesan. A lot of Parmesan, actually. Ooh. That looks so good. I also made some broccoli on the side, added my sausage. I always like to eat my pasta like this. Mmm, oh, that's so yummy. Bomey. Mmm, this is so good. And I have more than enough for leftovers tomorrow. Depending on how much you eat, this could easily make like two to four oh. servings. Or one, just one serving. Mmm. <laughs> Always gonna end the night with something sweet. This is my last ice cream cone. I definitely gotta get more of these. They're so freaking good. Mm. It's like the perfect amount too. My favorite part of these cones was always like the bottom bit where it has the hardened chocolate in it. Oh my God, so good. Hi guys, so as you can see, this video was filmed quite a while ago. I just got around to finishing editing it. I just want to say thank you guys so much. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for continuing to support me throughout all my little breaks and hiatuses. I can't even begin to explain how much it means to me. You guys are truly the best people in the world. <laughs> I miss you guys so much and I hope you all are doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you're beautiful, you're you're wonderful. You are so valid and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!